Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Maybe Dan plus Che's shiny new double chair on The Voice isn't so new and shiny after all, at least not the way Blake Shelton tells if a former coach and big-time proprietor of Nashville's Old Red Honky Tonk Bar recently gave a crowd of surprised live fans the lowdown on how Dan plus Shea actually inherited their famous split seats on The Voice, even if his story does sound suspiciously like another country music tall tale. Located just a few steps down and around the bend from the iconic Ryman Auditorium on Nashville's Lower Broadway Entertainment Strip, Old Red was already deep in the thick of an epic The Voice family reunion, complete with Dan plus Shea hosting a homecoming performance party featuring season 24 winner Huntley, alongside tons more artists who've shined across previous seasons on the show. The packed crowd was loving every minute of the feel-good vibes, even before Shelton rang in to survey the live scene inside his favorite hangout. And that's when things started to take a really funny turn. Dan plus Shay, no way, who knew? Shelton teased as his face popped up on the small stage's extra giant screen. Sensing that Dan plus Shay had brought along their pride and joy double coach's chair, which they actually did, the show-offs, Shelton couldn't let the pair of upstart newcomers take too much credit for keeping the plush red seats in the season 25 spotlight. I think that's just a recycled old chair of mine, Shelton told the crowd, making sure in the process that Dan plus Shea weren't feeling too big for their country superstar britches. By the time I left the show, it had become like a double wide chair, he goaded further, complete with the sassy insinuation that his old Red House guests were actually just a pair of celebrity hairs to his well-used onset hand-me-downs. With a double-decker crowd of fans in his corner, though, Dan Smyers had the perfect comeback to tease Shelton back in his place. Hey, I think you left your tab open at the bar, Dan joked. How about Blake buys everybody a beer? That kind of musical diplomacy goes far in a bar packed to the gills with the voice fans, and the feel-good reunion vibes kept flowing as artists past and present, including Season 7 winner Craig Wayne Boyd, jammed out live tunes while guests took turns snapping double-chair selfies. If we're being honest, we kinda hope Shelton never drops his whole funny campaign to convince the world that the double-chair is really his. After all, if you play your cards right, another free round of drinks on the house just might be waiting the next time you find yourself strolling down the streets in Nashville.